Welcome to the L curve. This is a graph of the income distribution of the United States. Picture the population of the United States lined up on a football field, with the poorest person on the far left and the richest person on the far right. The vertical scale on this graph is income represented by stacks of $100 bills. Let's zoom in and look at the family on the 50-yard line. The median income in the United States, the middle income, is about $40,000. That would be a stack of $100 bills about an inch and a half high. The majority of Americans lie along the horizontal branch of this graph. It's a long, gradual ramp from essentially zero at the far left to $100,000 at the 95-yard line. $100,000 would be a stack of $100 bills, four inches high. At the 99-yard line, the graph rises to about one foot. This represents an income of about $300,000. When we get to the top one-third of 1%, one, one foot from the goal line, we hit the million-dollar mark. One million dollars is a stack of $100 bills one meter high. One meter is about 40 inches. From there, the graph rises sharply. As we zoom out, we see a tree on the left. This is the height of the giant sequoias, a pretty good picture of what $100 million looks like. The height of this frame is one kilometer, a little over half a mile. A stack of $100 bills one kilometer high would be $1 billion. Remember that a billion is a thousand times a million. A kilometer is a thousand meters. If one meter represents $1 million, a kilometer would be one billion dollars. There are about 400 billionaires in the United States. It's hard to talk about income at this level because this kind of wealth doesn't come every month in a paycheck. This is almost, in, this is almost entirely investment income. Most people make money based on their labor, but money makes money in our economy far more efficiently than what can be earned from labor. As we continue to zoom we see there is a mountain behind us. The sequoias don't grow in Nepal, but this mountain represents the height of Mount Everest. It's a good picture of what $10 billion looks like. We come now to the top of the stratosphere and the top of our graph. At the 50 kilometer mark, we see Bill Gates' greatest increase in net worth in one year. His overall wealth rises and falls with the stock market, but was reputed to be about $100 billion at one point. Other families have comparable wealth. The Walmart fortune, for instance, is shared by several members of the Walton family, but their total wealth is even greater than the Microsoft fortune. As we zoom back in, try to take it all in. The next time some politician talks about tax cuts, ask yourself whose taxes are being cut and at whose expense.